And it's another beautiful day back down here at Bayfront Park. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats. And it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp, and our crew is getting ready to head out. It's kind of a windy day down here. Wind's blowing left to right across the screen. It's made some interesting situations. Do they have a line still on? Our guy's trying to kick off the dock. It's just strange that they were sitting there like that. And now we're completely sideways on the dock, though. Going forward, they're going to hit the dock in front of him. Oh, now he's backing up. Watch out. And crunch action. He's got himself stuck between the two docks. Heavy on the throttle hand now. When the wind catches you like this, sometimes you've got to work with what the wind's going to give you. In other words, the boat's going to feel like it wants to turn one direction, and if it's feeling like it wants to go that way, try and see if you can plan a path letting it go that way, and letting the wind assist you. Oh, he's running it right up onto the dock. He's got to be careful because the bow pulpit's hanging over the front too. And I mean, this is a twin engine boat. There's some pretty easy ways to turn this. And man, they have just made a lot of work trying to get out here. And it looks like our crew... Oh, he's gunning it. Is he going to clear the dock? And he just clears it out. And our crew will be able to get on their way. Here comes our crew in off a nice family day out on the water. And now it's time to do what every family loves to do, get that boat onto the dock. So we can see the wind's pushing them a little bit here. Cap's trying to line it up. And it looks like we've got some lines on the ready as well. So we've got fenders out, lines on the ready. Crew's a little more prepared than most down here. Having to come in with a tough approach, but the good news is the approach that he's going with here, the wind should push him into the dock. And coming in a little hot, tries to line it up with a fender. And now they're gonna have to push off the dock. Wifey off with of the line, cap off with of out of line, grabs it there. I think they're still in gear. Now they're going to fight the boat because they didn't put it in neutral. And they pull it over as hard as they can and the boat gets smacked around a little bit. Junior's able to jump in there, make sure it's in neutral. Cap's going to double check it now, but always got to double check if you're leaving the helm that that boat's in neutral. I mean, this is why you wear a kill switch. If the kill switch would have been on, this would have been over as well. So here comes our next crew in. And Cap's going to reverse it really quick. I guess he <laughs> passed the dock he decided he wanted, and he's going to come back. But now he's fighting the wind as he comes back. He's going to have to get it turned back in and back toward the dock. So it looks like Cap's chosen his dock of choice and is going to make an approach on it. I don't really see any lines or fenders out, so our crew's going to go in a little unprepared. And Cap starts to make the final turn for approach. Wifey or somebody up on the helm. Oh, brake check. She better hang on. <laughs> she saw it coming. She kind of got into brace herself mode before Cap hit it. But the brake check's going to pull him offline as the wind and current's going to grab him. So he's going to have to turn this one back in. This is an interesting approach. When you get turned off this early on, sometimes it's easier just to pull all the way back out and reset up. But we're going to try and inch our way in. Get the push off the concrete. Coming around a little wide, but once again, that could be fine with the wind and current blowing this way. It does a little brake check again. Got at least a line on the ready now. 
Hang on, watch out for the brake shit. No, he goes forward. Coming in a little hot now. And they'll bounce it off the dock, but just a little light love tap, nothing too crazy. Took him a few seconds to get it set up, but they are good to go now. And getting some lines out, getting the crew ready to roll. Now it's tough to tell from these images, are they down a motor? I see the pisser coming off of the motor on the port side, but I don't see anything off the starboard side, but maybe I'm just missing my glasses. No, it kind of looks like they probably are possibly down one engine. That always makes it a little more interesting. It definitely makes it, especially on a twin engine boat, because they're off center, the turning becomes a little wonky. And they're going to try and fight the wind to come in on this one. Oh, watch out for the bow rail. Our guy jumps off. Grabs the line. And they're drifting in. So the boat's going to hit in the bow side. And Cap goes into reverse. And now we've got the tug of war. Boat motor versus man. And Cap realizes that was kind of the wrong move. Once again, the motor's on the wrong side. He would want to reverse that starboard side motor to get it to come back around. He just it doesn't appear he has that. So our crew will get it walked around here. Hopefully get this one tied off. Not a bad attempt though, if he really is down a motor. I mean, it can be difficult on these twin engine boats when you lose one. And you can hear the wind ripping in the background. Our guy goes for the first toss, the miss. Toss number two is not even close. Grabs a little more line, and that was probably the worst attempt yet. Now we're a little bit far off, but I think he's realizing, hey, the wind and current's gonna do this job for me. Let me just switch sides. And sometimes that's the easiest approach. You just gotta watch what's going on, and if you see that easy out, and Mother Nature gives it to you, go ahead and take it. The only problem with the wind and current sometimes, here they're good, it's a nice slow approach, but if that wind and current's ripping sometimes, it'll push you into the dock a whole lot faster than you wanna come in. And you can't really control it. But our crew, they're going to get it on, get it set up. Wifey behind the helm. And they just got to get the rest of the lines going. But they should be good to go and they'll be on their way out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hollover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, a main machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.